Welcome back, true believers, to the Elite Zone for another WWE Elite Action Figure Review. And here we see a figure that took forever to come to my door. Pre-ordered this a while ago, and it is finally here. It is part of the first time in the line, Paul Ellering with Rocco Build-A-Figure Wave. And it is none other than the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. This is part of the WrestleMania set. Here we see this side of the package with a portrait of HBK donning the attire that he is wearing on this action figure. Take a look at the other side of the package and you can see HBK with that legendary chest hair, which actually turned him into a heel. And over on the back, you can see the other figures in this wave alongside Shawn Michaels. Everything that you're going to need to build Paul Ellering with Rocco. Stay tuned to future videos as I work my way towards building up Ellering and Rocco. But there you see the former WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and WWE Hall of Fame inductee. He's not your boy toy, but at WrestleMania 9, the Heartbreak Kid was your defending Intercontinental Champion against Tatanka. It is now time to break HBK out of the package. Now, if you've been collecting Elites, you know that they are very, the boxes to the Elites are very collector friendly, which means you can open them up very easily. There you see, you just do a little slit down the side and give it a nice little tug. And there you go. Here is your boy toy out of the package. Let's listen to the satisfying sounds of his release. Oh, wrong leg. That was to the Build-A-Figure piece, which are the legs of Paul Ellering. Or anyone your heart desires to build in suited pants. And let's see if I can get him out of here without popping off his sunglasses. And success. So, you can see he comes with two additional hands. We'll take a look at those later. But here is HBK out of the package in all of his glory. Take a look at that. Beautiful detail. These aren't chains. Well, they are chains, but they're made out of rubber. You see the beautiful deco. Let's get this guy on the 360 display. So here is HBK on the 360 display. You can see he comes with that ring gear, which is rubber, unfortunately. In the silver and black deco. Has the chains down the back, just as he does in the front. He has the black and white attire. Zebra patches. Knee pads. He has his kicker pads. There you can see the gloved hands. And he also has the removable glasses. The earrings are not removable. They are sculpted on. And there we see the beautiful mullet. Very 90s-esque. This attire captures Shawn Michaels' look at WrestleMania 9, way back in 1993, in the early days of the boy toy. I wanted to point something out that you couldn't catch on the 360 display unless you were really up close, and it is the incredible, it looks like they did real tech painting on his hair, so you can see the different shades in that glorious mullet, so that's pretty cool, really cool touch. And let's also take a closer look at what's under the glasses. Did they use real tech? And they did. However, Shawn Michaels does not have that characteristic wonky eye. However, I think this is pretty accurate because he didn't have that wonky eye yet. But there you see him. It appears that he is wearing makeup, which is very appropriate for the early 90s and the hairband look. When men were men and wore leather and eyeliner. That's uh, for you, Raymond Z. <laughs> Another thing that I want to point out is, while initially I was a little depressed that this is a rubber um, accessory piece because it limits the mobility, however, this one does have some flexibility. I don't know if this is going to hold up to a lot of wear. You might not want to pose it with 
with the arms moved because you're going to wear this out. However, you can see that he can raise his hands that much. He can put them forward a bit, but it's going to mess up the front. And there you see his the, the collar has just popped off. And it is also very, very thin. So this is more than likely going to break on you at some point. So buy two at ringside collectibles and if you buy two you get two sets of legs which always come in handy if you're trying to build a suited character so there you can see he get get his hands open that much and which can give you some type of posability options for those of you who do not have the hard rubber jacket that mattel likes to use here we see the sting figure beautiful jacket beautiful however these tassels are <laughs> this is the only thing pliable on the figure you cannot move this arm at all so this is basically your display option for sting this is your action shot look for sting and you ain't getting much else out of it so at least with this Shawn michaels you can have a little bit of pliability so there you see up down so now the back of the package mentions how Shawn michaels was a defending Intercontinental Champion on the night that he wore this attire at WrestleMania 9. However, they didn't give us that Intercontinental Championship. They did give us these this set of hands. So he can grip the Intercontinental title that he does not have. So HBK was looking naked, so I went ahead and gave him a white strap Intercontinental Championship. Wait, wait. he still looks naked? Can you guys say bonus? Yeah, we're going to open up a classic superstar series, Luna Vachon, who was HBK's valet at WrestleMania 9. And now we see Shawn Michaels looking fully <laughs> clothed. He's not naked anymore, folks. He has his Intercontinental title, and he has his valet at his side. And in a battle of the sexy boys, let me know in the comments below who prevails. Is it Mattel on the left? Or Jack's classic superstars on the right. Here we see HBK against his WrestleMania 9 opponent, the Native American Tatanka. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Elite Legend gets a little bit fired up when he does these wrestling videos. If you guys want to take a look at Elite Legends Tatanka, you don't have to go through any fans only pages. All you got to do is go into my playlist and take a look at my custom. Native American Tatanka in his debut white attire. Now, before we take a look at HBK in action, I wanted to show you guys the Shawn Michaels ringside exclusive figure that captures his look from 92 when he first went heel. So my producer ended up coming down with a case of the chills um, up and down her spine. Uh, she was a little weak. Took her to get tested. She was negative, thankfully. However, um, we did determine the cause of the... Um, the condition that she was in, and it was because she was exposed to um, this new set of elites and the Heartbreak Kid. So there you see the difference that the real tech technology can do, or the FX scan technology. I don't even know what it's called. They didn't put it on the box this time. So there you see prior to the new tech and with the new tech. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And here we see HBK and Luna ready for action. Now we see Tatanka on the warpath back there. I took the jacket off of HBK, and you want to be careful when you're handling this. As you can see, it is very, very flimsy. There you see his tattoo. The chest hair that actually made him transform into a heel. If you guys follow WWF closely, you know that when Shawn Michaels started growing that chest hair out, he started to get a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more cocky. And next thing you know, Marty Jannetty is jumping through a plate glass window trying to avoid a confrontation with the Heartbreak Kid. So there you see, without the glasses, um, the sculpted in earrings, that beautiful mullet. The elite articulation allows HBK to hit most of his signature poses. There you see HBK striking that pose. Tatanka about to drop HBK with the Samoan drop. And speaking of drops, you can see HBK about to deliver his patented elbow drop. 
And for me, the only person that comes close to Macho Man's elbow drop is HBK. And I know HBK was not doing the sweet chin music at this time period. However, just for the hell of it, to show off the articulation, you can see that HBK can hit a hell of a sweet chin music on Tatanka. That went off like a gunshot scattering the wild buffalo. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, drop a like, check out my playlists, and until next time, make mine elite!